in a vast world we live in. We're constantly being watched. Outside and in. With today's technology, we should be watching our homes. The packages we receive and our personal belongings. Don't let this happen to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's review is gonna be a little bit different than what you're normally used to as far as headphones, earbuds, big speakers, and things of that nature. Actually, today we're talking about something I find extremely important Outdoor security cameras. You can't get enough of them. Uh, they're like tattoos. Once you get one, you want a ton more. And today's review is on the I'm you, I'm you. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, guys. Let's just call it I M O U Cruiser Outdoor Security Camera. Now, some of you may have caught the video I did a while back on the Real Link Argus PT, and that review is pretty cool. I've been using that camera ever since. So if you haven't seen that one yet, I encourage you to check it out. I'll leave a link right here, and as soon as you find some spare time, check it out. So before we dive in and see all you get in the box, allow me to introduce myself for those that have never met me before. My name is Brandon No D. That's right, there's absolutely no D in this name, and I love doing tech reviews, guys such as security cameras. I do all sorts of different tech, so I am positive that I may have a review that you would be interested in. So I encourage you, take that first step, hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all to be notified in all the videos I post, and I will personally make a promise to you to deliver good, quality, and honest reviews, because that, folks, is how I like to roll. All right, with all that mambo jumbo out of the way, let's hit the Skycam and show you guys what you get. So right off the bat, you're gonna get some brochures and uh, they give you quite a bit. They give you an important reminder. The security camera only supports 2.4 gigahertz. Remember that when you're connecting it to your Wi-Fi. Also, they're gonna give you this, activate your warranty and you will get two years with the company and a free gift. Not sure what that is. And then you get your quick start guide, which is very convenient, especially when you're setting up something as high tech as this. Also in the box, you're gonna get your DC 12 volt. That's right, guys, it is a plug-in style, not a wireless. Even though you hear the words wireless, that's because you're able to use your wireless connection on your app to see what's going on with the camera, but not powering the camera. Just keep that in mind. You also get this nice bracket for outside mounting, and I will show you that in just a bit. And they also give you a template, which is always nice. Uh, sticker, but you don't really need it. They also throw in some screws for mounting and these plastic caps. And here is the camera, guys. And right off the bat, it reminded me of the Real Link Argus PT that I did but I noticed right away on this is a couple of cables that are connected, okay? And what that is, is your ethernet and your power adapter. So I was a little bit bummed when I got it in the box. I thought it was gonna be a wireless um, all the way, just like the uh, real link was, but that's not the case. But you know what? In all reality, you're gonna get so much better life out of them and so much better response, I think. So it's not all bad. You just have to make sure you have a plug available. That's the hardest part. 
looking at the camera, you have these antennas that you can flick out of the way, move them however you need. You can definitely use the camera upright if you wish, but it is definitely made to mount upright. And the reason I say that is because you see the logo actually is spelled when it's in the upright position. It has a speaker, so yes, this definitely supports uh, two-way talk. On the bottom, you'll see these grooves, and that is designed for the grooves on the mounting bracket, and you will slide it in very simply, just like that, pop it in, and then it turns, and you can see unlock and lock. So very simple, very easy to mount. You can have the cord come under it or actually through it however you wish to mount it. Take that off real quick just by turning it and taking it off. And that's gonna come in very handy because yes guys, this does actually have a micro SD card slot and that is found inside this mechanism here, but we have to unscrew it. Now that's another thing I was kind of unhappy with is that you have to take both these screws out to pop in a micro SD card as to where the real link is just a rubber gasket and you just pop it open. It makes it a lot more simple. First of all, you're gonna find yourself a Phillips head, obviously. I'm going to take these screws out, and lucky for us, we have editing. We can speed it up. And it should pop right off. And there you have it. So now we are exposing the micro SD card. And you want to make sure to grab a good SD card. I really recommend the Sandus. The brass fittings face the logo side. Go ahead and slide that in, and you should hear it click. All right, with that mounted, we're gonna go ahead and slip the cap back in. So you should just be able to pop it in just like that, and then we'll go ahead and tighten up the screws. So yes, is it kind of a pain in the ass? A little bit. I mean, you gotta take a couple screws out to get to the card every time, but uh, all in all, it's not that big of a deal. It's no different than swapping out batteries that always have that screw as well. All right, let's nerd out with Brandon real quickly. We're gonna go over the specs. So this is a 360 degree bullet camera, they call it, and it's broken down by 355 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees vertically. This also is equipped with two-way talk like we talked about earlier, and I think it's a great feature when you're able to talk to the person that's outside your house on film and you can ask them, state your business. Also, this is equipped with two floodlights, which the Rio Link does not have, and it also has human motion tracking. That is something I really wished that the Rio Link had, where you can physically pan and tilt it all you want, but once it picks up motion, it doesn't follow that person or whatever's making it move. This one, however, you can, and I will show you that later in the video. It has full HD for perfect picture in daylight, and it also has color in nighttime as well. And last but not least, it's coming with an IP66 rating, which obviously it's for outside, so this thing is going to be protected. So you don't have to worry about snow or rain getting on this. It'll be perfectly fine. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys all the settings you can set up on the app itself, and then we'll take it outside and I will show you guys all and how this works and how well it looks. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the IMOU Life app, and that is right here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, and you're greeted with the camera that you're using, which is our cruiser, and then you're going to see quite a few different things on here, you'll notice. I have the notifications on, that means you'll be able to get your notifications when the camera sets itself off. Uh, push notification thumbnails, it'll give you a thumbnail of the picture, and then your device offline, so it'll record offline as well. All right, going back is you have detection, you click on that, now you're gonna get your human detection on, your motion detection, your smart tracking, you're able to turn all those on. You have emotion sensitivity, uh, one through five being max, and all that's for is to set up how sensitive you want the camera to pick up motion. AI detection, it says right now when you click on that, it's something that is coming, coming soon, so they haven't quite put that on yet. Now you can use cloud storage as well as the micro SD card. I'm choosing to use the card. I don't wanna pay for a subscription, but if you uh, feel the need to and you want that 24 hour uh, good service, then you can go ahead and look into their uh, cloud storage. And then you have the spotlight. Now when you turn this on, it says activate 
spotlight detection. So basically when it detects anything, it will hit the spotlight on. You can turn that on or off. Smart night vision, this is pretty cool. Smart night vision, bright color night vision, infrared night vision, or spotlights off color night vision. I mean, then you have dust to dawn. Um, you can set that sensor as well for when you want the night vision to kick on. Okay, all right, now that we have all the settings pretty much set up, let's go outside and take a look and see how the camera looks. All right, here we are outside, and this is the way I found the best for mounting was under the roof of my garage. I think it's a fantastic way to mount it. It kind of keeps it drier than normal, but again, this has that IP66 rating. You guys won't have any problem, but if you can come up with something like I did, you're gonna be a little better off. And there is the way I mounted the cables. I just drilled a hole through the garage and took the uh, cord through there into an outlet. It's gonna notice the, uh, the wasp on there, which is kind of funky. Yep, there it goes. So it definitely uh, saw the wasp and the wasp is coming at me and I'm gonna have to use my hat. That's what hats are great for guys out here in the summer, obviously. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our app. And it already gave us a notification as we can click on here. And there it is, it's saying backyard human detected. So we can go ahead and hit play on that. And there it is. So let's go ahead and see what that says. Oh, that was me waving my hand in front of it. So there you go. Oh, and there's that wasp. All right, so there is gonna be a little bit of a delay that's normal for these kind of cameras. Um, and what I mean by that is, let me show you when we go into the app, we'll go into home and then we hit play right off the bat and this should log into the camera. And there we are, we're logged in now. There's the doggy dogs. There I'm waving and hi. So it's got a little bit of a delay, but not terrible. So you have pan and tilt, which is here. And now we can go ahead and move the camera down. Look at the, look up. Oh man, bugs are all over the place today. Woo! Come on, buggy bugs. Another nice feature that the IMOU has over the real link is the fact of saving favorites. And what I mean by that is check this out. Already set it up to where I have pool, door wall, window view and garage view. I hit pool and it'll automatically take the camera over to the pool. I have door wall, which is gonna be behind me or some of you call it sliders. We here in Michigan, sliders are like White Castle or Bates Burgers. Uh, there's your door wall view. And then I have window view, which I pointed the camera over here at the house. And then I also have my garage view and you have many more options to make more positions if you want, but those are the ones that I've set so far. Pretty cool, really digging that. The beauty of editing is that we're able to do things such as like wanting to show you guys right now what night vision looks like. So let's just turn the lights off. Wow. All right, so you may not be able to see me so well, but check out the night vision on the camera. Look how clear that is, guys. Hello. Wow, it's a big difference. So yeah, definitely the infrared helps the lighting. It's definitely gonna light up the backyard for you. I think this camera and me are gonna get along just fine. All right, guys, dark is scaring me. Let's go back to light. All right, let me show you a couple more options and then we'll get you guys out of here. If you have more than one IMOU camera, you can click on this and you'll get four different positions for four different cameras. You also have SD or HD. That's gonna be the quality of the picture. And you can also start recording right off the bat by pressing this button here. And now it's recording and you hit it again and it'll push it down here and then we're able to click on it and play it. And you can take a snapshot cheese there it is and then you also have speak that's where i said state your business you actually have a built-in siren and it's going to tell you your neighbors are going to hear it let's give it a whirl here it is so that's if you see somebody in the yard you click on that and that might deter them from trying to do what they were trying to do and last but not least, you have spotlights, which you can turn on the floodlights. So pretty cool. Definitely a nut.
That's a big old bumblebee. Man, the bugs are out today. I'm going back in. Well, guys, that's going to do it for the review. I could go on and on with how many more options are on the app, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys once you pick one up. Speaking of which, would Brandon recommend you guys picking one of these up? Although I am not sponsored or endorsed through IMOU, they merely reached out to the channel, asked me to do you guys a review, and here we are. It's that simple. But as far as me recommending you guys this unit or the Real Link units, it doesn't matter to me, guys. I'm not affiliated with either one. They both have a lot of similarities as far as the apps go, and that's how security cameras go. I'll be sure to drop you guys affiliate links for both units. Pick up either one. It's entirely up to you. Now, be sure not to pass up any comments that you may be thinking. Drop me them down in the description below, and I will make sure I get back to you as soon as possible. Let's get you out of here, but first, it's time for Brandon, no D's, to open fortune cookies. Let's see what the fortune is today. All right. All righty. Organize your life around your dreams and watch them come true. Wow. You know what? I like that. I like that a lot. Guys, do me a favor, would you? Would you be sure to like this video and share it as it helps my channel tremendously? And you guys know, or at least I think you do, I'll be seeing you in my next video.